Welcome back to J Webb's Beast 2 Racing here on YouTube with another Forza Horizon 4 video. This one is on the 2014 BAC Mono for S2 Road Racing. This is my personal tune. I am bringing it to Ranked Adventure in Autumn. As you can see, the stats uh, 10 handling, 10 acceleration, 10 launch, 10 braking, and 8.3 speed. It does only have 550 horsepower, but it only weighs 1,250 pounds. Let's bring it to the first race so I can show you what it can do. Here we are, race number one Cotswolds Super Sprint in the BAC Mono. This is definitely a very affordable, very good S2 car if you are newer to the game. Uh, the acceleration and speed and handling all combined is very good. And to purchase the car, it is very uh, cheap to be able to purchase it out of the auto show. Um, I do believe it is actually a free gifted car. Um, so you can also obviously just get it once you're able to open up your Horizon messages. Feel free to download the tune, let me know what you think. Obviously as you see the acceleration is very good, it takes turns at high speed. And the top speed is only something like 225 miles per hour, which is definitely good enough for most tracks. With it being so light, it is very nimble, handles very well. And the acceleration is very crazy. Very happy with the performance of this tune. I would like to know if anyone does download it and give it a try. Let me know your opinions. And it looks like it's going to be a first place finish for the first race. Let's go to race number two. Here we are, race number two, Derwent Lakeside Sprint in the BAC Mono. <laughs> Starting from position number six. With the acceleration of this car, we should be able to move up relatively quick and hopefully uh, get a good lead on these people for the most part. Up into first position. And there are a lot of good tunes out there for this car, so even if you don't try mine. I know Grandma Driving has a very good tune for the car, um, so there are plenty of good tunes to try out and test to see which one's best for you. Me personally, I just like tuning my own stuff because uh, it suits my driving style. One person's driving style might not fit yours, so feel free to check out my tuning tutorials as well, learn how to tune. And uh, tweak the cars to your liking so that this way they fit best for you. 
and then you can also make your own tunes and share them for other individuals to use. We'll see what kind of top speed we hit. Hit by the finish line. Should be somewhere around 220. There's going to be another first place finish. And 218. Let's go to the final race of this adventure. Here we are, the final race of this adventure at the Broadway Village Circuit. <laughs> you saw how the car can do for sprints. Now we'll show you what it can do around the circuit, starting from position number 10. Here we go. Working our way up through the pack. With the acceleration, should we be able to get by? That's all right, you should still be able to catch up to him and hopefully finish in the second position. As you can see, the car is very good, even after being rammed into a wall, we are catching up. Don't know if I'm gonna get him now. Well, that's alright. Third place finish after being rammed, not too bad. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone, and we'll see you next time.